Have you ever wondered how you can add your Squarespace block categories to your navigation? If you answered yes, you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So I'll show you how to add your categories to your main navigation here, but I'll also show you a handy way for uh, at linking to your blog categories in other places on your website. So for example, in this section called Featured Blog Posts, I designed, uh, I decided in a way to showcase posts from two categories, travel and food, and I'll show you how you can achieve the same look on your blogging website. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, if you want to add a blog category to your navigation up top here, you can do this in a several way. You're going to come over here to your main navigation and then you're going to click the plus sign. And instead of using pages or collections, you're going to click link. And then you're going to give it the name of your category. So let's say we want to link to your lifestyle category. And then over here where it says link, click on the cogwheel icon, click page, search for the blog page, and then you'll get the option to choose which category you want to link to. So in this case, we want to link to lifestyle. So that's what we're going to select. If you also want to link to your tags, you certainly can, although I don't recommend you do that because uh, nobody really ever, nobody has ever done that to the best of my knowledge, and it's not really common practice. Most people just usually link to categories, but just know that if you want to um, filter by tags and link to your tags, you can do so if you have some specific tag that is important to your blog or your business. And then you don't have to open it in a new window because they are staying on your website. So I would leave this as uh, toggled off. And then all you have to do is click save and then click save one more time. And now you'll see that that category appears in your navigation. And if we click on it, it'll take us to an archive page for the lifestyle category. So as you can see, only the posts that are in the lifestyle category are displayed. And if we click back to the blog page, you'll see that we also see other categories as well. So that uh, is how you can add a category to your main navigation. What you can also do is you can create, let's delete this. If you want to turn this uh, blog page uh, or blog menu item into sort of a drop down menu so that you can show all the categories without listing them all um, in your navigation, you can do that in the following way. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to move this blog page into the not linked section. Then back under main navigation, I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to click folder and I'm going to name it blog. And what that's going to do is it's essentially going to give us a drop down menu, which will appear once we start adding pages or links to this folder. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on add page, click link, create a link and then we are going to give it the title of your category. So I'm going to say lifestyle and under link, we are going to repeat the same process. So we're going to click on page, search for blog. And now you'll have two options when you search for blog. One will be a folder and the other one will be your actual blog page. So you don't want to list uh, this folder um, because that essentially will take them nowhere. You, you, it won't let you, and it also won't let you to select the category for your blog post. So we are going to click on blog and then for categories, we are going to choose lifestyle and then click save, save one more time. And now, as you can see, we have this drop down menu that appeared. And when we hover over it, we can choose the lifestyle category. So I'm going to add another category just to show you that process one more time. So we're going to click on add page link and then we're going to name it travel and page. We're going to link to blog again. And this time we're going to select the travel category and I'm going to click save. And now we have a drop down menu that allows us to go to either lifestyle or the travel category. And then if you want, uh, you can rearrange it so that uh, it shows up the way it did before. And now it's in the same place that it was before we moved the blog page. 
So that's how you can add your blog categories to your main navigation. And the process would be the same if you are, for example, creating a link uh, here in your for a navigation. The only thing that would change is if you click on the edit button and then we click edit footer. So let's say that instead of a blog, we want to link to our lifestyle category. You would type in lifestyle, click the link option, cogwheel icon, page, blog, select the blog, and then select the appropriate category and then click save, apply. And now you have created a simple text link in your footer navigation that takes you to the category that you want. And you can repeat this process for other categories on your blog if you want to. So I'm going to discard the changes because I don't actually want to change that. But let's see how you can create the section we had on our home page. So basically we had a section that shows blog posts from the travel category and the food category. And the way you do that, I'm going to create a dummy page right here so I can show you how it's done. So I'm going to go to the not linked section, click the plus sign, and I'm going to add a blank page. And then I'm going to click edit, add section. I'm going to add a block, blank section. And then I'm going to, in the text block that appears, I'm going to just give it a simple title. Let's say popular posts. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two spacer blocks and I'm going to place them right next to each other so that we have two columns. And then under one spacer, I'm going to click this plus sign and I'm going to search for the summary block. And then I'm going to select our blog page. For the primary metadata, again, I'm going to select none as I'm not a fan of doing this. But here's what's important here. You want to click on this filter items and then under category, you want to choose the category that you want to link to. So I'm going to choose lifestyle and then I'm going to click on design, click carousel and I'm going to select uh, 30 items and three items per row. You can also customize how the image appears. So the aspect ratio, you can customize the size of the text and the alignment. I'm going to remove this header text and then you can choose which elements appear. I'm going to remove the excerpt. I'm just going to leave it with title and featured image because I personally think that looks cleaner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus sign in between the spacer and the summary block and I'm going to add another text. And I'm going to say lifestyle and I'm going to style that as paragraph one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another text block and I'm going to say see all posts in lifestyle. Actually, that's a little too long. So I'm just going to say all posts like that and I'm going to add an arrow. And then I'm going to link this to the lifestyle category. So I'm going to choose the blog page, lifestyle, click save and apply. And now I'm going to drop that right next to this lifestyle text and I'm going to make sure it's the same size and I'm going to change the alignment. So now this gives us a display of the lifestyle category and then they can click through to read all posts in that category. And then on the other side, I'm going to search for another summary block and I'm going to select the blog page again. And under filter items, this time we're going to choose home. And then under the design, I'm going to apply the same style settings, make sure it only displays title and featured image. And then I'm going to add basically the text block and say home. And I'm going to add another one. all posts, paragraph one, change the alignment and I'm going to link to page, blog page and we're going to link to the home, click save, apply and now I'm going to just 
plop it right next to the text that says home. And that's basically how you can link to your blog categories on other pages and areas of your website. And if you're looking to learn more about blogging with Squarespace, I have an entire playlist for you here on YouTube that you can binge watch right now. So if that is something that you want to do, be sure to watch it next. And if you're interested in learning more about launching a website for your business or your blog, I have a free roadmap that takes you through the entire process step by step. And I'll link to it in the description down below. So be sure to check it out. That's it for this video and I'll see you next time.